Hello. This section of the Phycocosm tutorial will focus on our comparative genomics analysis tools and various ways you can work with our pre-computed functional annotations and groups of related genome portals. Beginning from the homepage of the individual portal devoted to Chlamydomonas reinhardtii, the first tool I will highlight is Synteny, where we can access VISTA alignments to compare this genome to another of interest in a whole genome assembly context. These are similar to global alignment results from software like Mummer, for example. You can select from a list of target genomes with pre-computed alignments from this drop-down menu. A subset of these are represented in the VISTA histogram tracks of the Phycocosm genome browser. I have started with a distant comparator, Daniela Selina, pre-selected here. And now I will choose a more closely related species, Clementimonis inserta. After clicking Submit, you'll see that this graphical overview of the alignment is updated. These dark and light bands represent the relative degree of synteny between our two selected species. The help link here will display more information on VISTA and the alignment details displayed below. There are also these other options available in the upper right. For example, you can click on dot plot, and this will take you to a page where you can click and drag around to navigate through the alignment a bit like Google Maps. We have C. Reinhardtii displayed on the x-axis and my selected comparator C. inserta on the y-axis. And these diagonal lines show regions of shared global alignment. For example, C. inserta scaffold five here happens to be entirely syntenic with this particular region of chromosome 16 in C. Reinhardtii. These buttons on the left are additional navigational tools controlling the zoom level of the dot plot. For example, you can click and drag to zoom right in on a region of interest. And here we can see that these alignments include a, a number of shortened versions in red. You can move between particular zoom levels using these buttons or this final button here will zoom out entirely and display the full global alignment. Finally, you can click on Synteny in the upper right to return to the original form and select another target genome. However, this tool is always limited to one-to-one -one comparisons of one genome to another. Next, I direct your attention to the annotations tab in the toolbar, showing different collections of functional annotations pre-computed for every genome on Phycocosm. For example, the gene ontology or GO assignments are presented in this table. Some annotation views like this one allow you to select from a list of related genomes to control the contents of the data table below. Here I have pre-selected the two comparators from our Synteny discussion. All of these links here are clickable and will display lists of the gene models that match the GO terms to the left, either for each individual genome portal or for the entire set in the table. Clicking on the plus or minus signs will allow you to navigate through the hierarchical relationships between different Go terms, or you can use the form at the top of the page to search either by keyword or for a specific Go term ID number. We also provide PFAM domain assignments. And again, you can click on the rows to view the genes that share particular domain homology. For a quick example, let's view the C. Reinhardtii specific genes sharing this ABC transporter domain. Many of our annotation view details pages share tables like this one. Each row starts with a link to the genome portal and protein page for that particular genome gene model, a link to view this model on the genome browser, followed by the lengths of the unspliced gene and the translated protein and any PFAM domain assignments. This rightmost column presents the model view of intron exon structure by default, where we can click on domains to switch to view the translated protein models with PFAM domain predictions color-coded to match the list to the left. 
Here we see that all proteins on this list share this ABC transporter in red, while only some happen to share this additional transmembrane domain in yellow, for example. Now, rather than go through all of the functional annotations we provide in similar detail, I will say that we also provide KEG and COG assignments and several different curated enzyme, enzyme classifications, the secondary metabolism clusters, casimes, peptidases, transporters, and this view of PFAM domains specifically associated with transcription factors. All of this data, these functional annotations, the gene models, and the genome assembly are available from our download portal. And this is the one section of Phycocosm where you need a user account at the JGI to download the data directly. If you don't have an account, please click and register here. Sign up is free and also fairly simple. Once you have an account and log in, when you click on download, you will see this page where data usage instructions are displayed first. Our Clematomonas Reinhardtii example is a published genome, so the reference is repeated here. Click OK to continue on, and you are sent to this view where you can see that, for example, our functional annotations, KEG and GO, are available for download here. Uh, the gene models in both GFF3 format and FASTA format are available. And a little bit further down, we have the assembly in both masked and unmasked FASTA. Now, one important takeaway message from all of these available download options is that the gene catalog specifically is intended to be the best data set to use when comparing Phycocosm portals. The sets of available files otherwise will differ slightly based on the data source and how the data was imported. For a quick example of unpublished Phycocosm data, I will quickly switch to the download portal for triplenema minus. And this data use policy states that you must contact the principal investigators for permission to use this unpublished data in your own whole genome analyses prior to their own publication of the sequencing project. By clicking agree here, you continue on as before. And in addition to the gene catalog files that we saw for Clementomonas, here we also have these all genes and all proteins files. So genomes like this were produced by the JGI algal annotation pipeline. And this includes several different homology and transcriptome-based gene predictors. We take these multiple predictions and apply a heuristic filtering algorithm to select the best model to represent each gene locus. This final filtered model set then forms the basis for the Tribonema portals gene catalog. Okay, I will cover two more topics. The first being our MCL clusters. We start with blast similarity between proteins and apply an MCL algorithm to group these sequences further into multi-gene families that share not only homology, but hopefully also predicted function. This is a powerful tool for examining similarities and differences between phycocosm genomes. Different sets of genomes are included in comparative clustering runs like this to easily compare a portal's genome with nearby phylogenetic neighbors or other comparative organisms of interest. Other clustering runs that include this genome are available from this drop down menu at the top here. <clears throat> For basic navigation, I always like to start by clicking on the current genome of interest. The list now displays gene families reordered by decreasing C. Reinhardtii gene count. Each row shows the contribution of each genome to that gene family and a list of any PFAM domain annotations assigned to the members of that cluster. These submenus here allow us to 
filter the display based on gene membership. For example, this option would display only clusters with C Reinhardtii singletons, whereas this shows all clusters that happen to not include this genome at all. This link on the left here will apply these filters to all columns at once, allowing us to quickly reverse this filtering to now show us only the clusters that are unique to this organism. You can also filter these clusters by keyword here. For example, I, here I've entered a PFAM domain ID. And by default, this will show all clusters that match your keyword. Um, or you can select one of these constraints on either gene composition or gene count. I've selected a Kinesin motor domain here, and more details about each cluster are available from these links on the left side with the numerical ID for each cluster being unique to each clustering run. So for example, cluster 1859 here, um, this detail page shows the gene composition and gene count graphic at the top again, followed by um, a table with more details about each gene model in this gene family. Rows here are similar to the list of proteins sharing functional annotations with links to protein details on each individual genome portal and shared PFAM domain assignments. The right side includes the same model and domain views we have seen previously while cluster detail tables also include this synteny option. So this graphical cartoon highlights each member of this cluster as these gray center arrows. In the context of five upstream and downstream genes on each genome's assembly, such as this chromosome six for this cluster member. And these represent potential synthetic blocks. Groups of colored arrows, like this blue set and this pink set here, are found in the same neighboring cluster. So for example, according to the small window that opened in the upper right here, this set of pink genes are all in cluster 3750 um, from these four genomes. And you can click to navigate between clusters using these links, uh, moving along the chromosome cluster by cluster in that manner. Now, so far we've looked at phycocosm comparative tools with a small subset of all available genomes and always in the context of the individual genome portal for Chlamydomonas reinhardtii. We also provide larger scale comparative genomics using the eco groups and phylo groups that were covered in the tutorial introduction. I now briefly return to the C. Reinhardtii info page, where we provide links to the groups that include this genome towards the bottom here. For example, the phylo groups based on shared taxonomy here range from the broad list of all Archaeplastida genomes down to the members of the Clamydomonodales order. By clicking here, we load um, first this default view of all the members of this group um, listed in this table, along with their assembly length and gene model counts. Species names link to individual genome portals and green rows here highlight published genomes. The Clemidomone Dali's phylogenetic tree, similar to the tree interface covered by the tutorial introduction is available here as an alternative to the info page list for this group's member genomes. Other tabs here will follow the same principles that we have seen on individual genome portals. For example, our search and blast functions will return matches from all members of the group. 
a subset of pre-computed functional annotation tables are available here. And we also build gene families to reflect the shared hom homology of each full group. When logged into your JGI account, the download tab will provide access to files for all genomes in one place. I should also mention that our group phylogenetic trees and MCL clusters are routinely updated while newly published genomes are added to info lists like this automatically. Therefore, this view is the one guaranteed to include all available members of a group at any given time. Okay, this concludes our tutorial on Thycocosm comparative genomics tools. We covered Synteny, MCL clusters, functional annotations and download options for individual genome portals, as well as how to apply many of these same tools to groups of related genomes. Thank you for listening, and we hope you find these tools useful in the pursuit of your own research in the future.